Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought that today I would just talk through some recent bargains that I had ordered online and been really happy with the quality and what I received. Um, so some of this stuff, it's not gonna be for everyone. Like seeing these vases, um, or this shape in ornaments everywhere. Uh, right now, I appreciate it's not gonna be for everyone, but it's just something that I like, and I was really happy, as I said, with the price and the quality of what arrived. So yeah, we'll just start with this. This is one of the first things I got. So it's a vase. Um, you can obviously get an idea of like the size. Uh, and then in, um, this was off PLT Home. So it came really quickly. As you can imagine, it was very um, a reasonable, reasonable price point. And then in it, I've just put these, which I got off Etsy. So I really want some of the big pampas grass that just seems to be everywhere that I look at the moment. Um, it just looks so fluffy and nice. I know they do coloured ones, like I'm not overly into the coloured ones, I think, but I'd like the natural colours. Um, it's just so popular. I think probably a lot of it's down to Mrs. Hinch, to be honest. Like, that is where I get a lot of my inspiration from. Um, like, you know, many of the other four million people that follow her. So obviously whenever she gets onto something, it just sells out like that. Um, yeah, if you can find any of the big pampas grass, actually, and it's not like an astronomical price or a four-month wait time, send me the link, please. Um, okay, yeah, so these like mini pampas grasses, really soft, uh, kind of like feathers. And I think these were like 10 quid on Etsy. It didn't take too long to come. It says you should put them in the sun when they arrive. So I did do that, just put them on the windowsill and then they like fluffed out when they came. They were like teeny tiny. Um, I think for 10 quid, like, you, I've got what I paid for. And I just think this vase looks really cute on the windowsill. I really love it. Uh, so I also, in that style, they had a candle. Now this is smaller than the vase, but it, it's obviously smaller than the vase. But I just think it's really cute. I don't know how she's gonna look when she's melting, but I'm interested to find out. So I'm thinking we're doing the downstairs bathroom, giving it a little bit of a glow up. Um, we've chosen the paint and I'm actually still looking for, so we've got like a rose gold light fitting in there. Um, and I'd really like a shelf, like maybe like one of those hexagon little shelves that also are quite trendy at the moment in the places that I'm looking. Maybe like three of those up the wall and then I just think this would sit really cute on one of those shelves, possibly with a small diffuser, maybe a little tea light or something. I guess I guess we'll just see, but I've, I've yet to find them. A lot of the rose gold shelves that I'm seeing are actually more gold, like they're just not gonna match the light. So still looking for that but I'll show you when I find a home for her. But I think this would look cute anywhere. It doesn't have to be a bathroom, just any little like ornament space that you've got. I think she would be really beautiful. Uh, so on PLT Home, which is where those two came from, I also ordered, my Hendy is in July, you know, as long as nothing changes. Let's see how it goes. But as long as that goes ahead, a lot of the activities for the UK Hindu uh, in the daytime will be in our garden. And then, you know, obviously we're going out in the evening. So I've been getting loads of bits for the garden, just so it's ready to like be a good space for, you know, more people than just me and Dan. And Obviously, straws are like disgusting for the ocean, aren't they? And the paper ones can just be ah uh, oh, soggy, a bit soggy. 
not really like the best feeling. I just got these little rose gold ones. These on PLT are from the brand Ginger Ray. Now if you Google Hendu, it's definitely a brand that, I don't know, they're like paying for this SEO, search engine optimization. They're coming straight up all the time. They're not the most reasonably priced, but as always with PLT, you can probably get like up to 30% off really easily. Even if they're not running a code, you just need to Google PLT code and then I think the website voucher code just gave me 30% off on these. So it got them down to a much more reasonable price. And these can obviously go in the dishwasher. Uh, I've only got five, not everyone's gonna want a straw, but I'll see what, see what these are like. Maybe I'll get some more. So yeah, I was really happy with those some of the little home bits that came. And then some of the other little purchases I bought recently. One of them I showed in a reel was uh, these shoes. So they're like a braided nude heels. It's quite a small heel, but I just love nude shoes. Um, I just feel like they go with everything. So if, if we're going out on a date night, like as and when we can, or if I'm just feeling a bit extra and I wanna dress up to go out and eat with Dan in the garden. Um, it's been a bit sunny recently and actually been fairly warm with it. So we've been making the most of that. Definitely for some of the weddings that were rearranged from last year and moved to this year. If we actually make it to them, then this is where I'm looking to wear that sort of shoe, possibly on my hen do, a night out with the girls. Now these are obviously a copy of the Bottega, um, I think they're called BV Lido sandals. So these are the original sandals, the Bottega ones. I think they are gorgeous. Uh, I found out about them watching a video from In The Fro. i uh, would never seen sandals like these before. I think everything last year was pretty strappy and I just thought these are really different. Um, and I'd love to own a pair. And obviously when I let them up, but I just can't drop a grand on shoes. Like, maybe you can, great. I wish I just could do it, but I just can't. Um, I don't think they'd have to last me like my entire life. And I'd be, I'd have to be able to wear them everywhere or something. It just feels like weird to do that. So yeah, I got these cheap ones. And I also know a lot of people like, can be a bit snobby about non-designer shoes that are like copying designer shoes. These aren't especially close. I think the BV ones are thicker braided. Looks more like a thicker plait rather than this tight plait, but they're really squishy and comfortable to wear. Um, and they were, I think again, there was a code, like whenever you're on Shein, it will just pop up all the time with little codes and incentives to try and get you to buy things. So it's like, I was gonna buy it anyway, thanks. I'll just get 20% off, love you. Um, yeah, so that was these, I think they were 21.49 and I got them for like 19 pounds something. And when I was on there, so I was drawn there because I was looking for a dupe of the Bottega shoes. Um, when I was on there, I just thought, hang on, um, let's have a little look around and then I found these. Now Dan hates them but I love them. So again this is quite like a BV, like a Bottega thing. Uh, instead of having a pointed toe it's more of a flatter toe. So I think that's actually really nice because it's just different to other shoes that I have. And then you've obviously got, it's not as squishy but it's very comfortable this strap around your foot so you're just not going to get any pain. Now I would call these flats, um, I intend to wear them with any outfits where I would be looking for a flat shoe, just something more casual but still pretty. Appreciate there's this little like plasticky heel on them but it's just so minimal that I, I just would wear these as flats. In my head these are in the flat section of my shoe collection. And then you've obviously got like these two little straps for extra support to stop. You know, sometimes when you're walking, you've got like flats or flip flops on. 
your shoe can flap around and you just sound horrendous when you're walking. So this is obviously to kind of stop that happening and give you a bit more support. I can't quite remember the price of these. I'm gonna say like 11 quid. Um, I actually bought two pairs because I just thought these are so reasonably priced, even if they don't fit, it doesn't really matter. And they did fit and now, like I know that I'm just gonna love them. So I've got two and when these are like battered from just wearing them out too much, I won't be upset because I'll still have a new pair to wear. Like, do you ever do that? When you find something you really love, you buy two of it because you just know that you're gonna be upset when it's worn out and beaten up and you're still gonna love it. So yeah, that's what I did with these. As I say, Dan hates them. He just thinks they're ridiculous. Like, he just thinks they're really ugly, but you know, it's my feet and that's what I wanna wear. Um, I thought I'd do something a bit different today and maybe try uh, more of a vlog. So I'm gonna show you some things that we've been working on in the garden and in the living room. Uh, I'll just talk to you a bit about it first so you've got some context. We bought a new build. So it's basically a shell. There's like nothing in it, no curtain poles, no carpets, nothing. Um, we bought it, I'm going to say 18 months ago. And then with a new build, you have to wait a year before you can start painting because the house literally needs to settle. And then as it settles, um, it can crack, like the plaster and stuff can crack. So they just say, don't put any wallpaper or paint on in case, you know, your house crumbles or something. Um, we've had a tiny bit of cracking, maybe around like the skirting boards in some rooms, in some areas, but nothing mad, we're really lucky. I've definitely heard about like horror stories with new builds, so if that's happened to you, I'm really sorry, because it just sounds really stressful. Um, and I know a lot of the stress is often that like the home builder sometimes you can get really bad after sales service so like they don't want to help you because they've got all of your money they've already reinvested it into like the next development and they just don't really care like they don't want to spend time and money sending people around so our home was through Eccleston Homes we didn't have any issues with it in in the 18 months we've been here we've not had a problem uh so I would recommend them but it's just like we might have a different set of builders, um, different salespeople in, in our area to your area. So it's it's actually quite hard, like without having a bad experience, I can't tell you if they would always do a good job, but their quality on this project has been great for us. Um, one thing that, uh, as well as not having any like fittings, flooring, curtains, any of that stuff, and you obviously pay like you can't negotiate on the price it's not like with a normal house when you know you might be able to go like down a bit or you might get pushed up a bit like it's just a flat price they won't negotiate at all um we didn't get a like there was nothing in the garden it was literally just soil uh and then we moved in in like november um, so we just didn't do anything because you're obviously not in the garden in November at all. Um, and then by the time like spring came round, I can't even explain to you. I'll see if I can find any pictures of how it used to look and insert them here. So you can see how overgrown everything got in that short period from when we moved in, how we started digging it out. Um, <laughs> we kept on digging it out. And when the decking started to come in and the sound went down for the grass. And then we've done like quite a lot to it since. So I'm going to show you what we've done in the garden, talk to you a bit about why. Again, you should have seen like the mess it was in before. This paving was here, but this whole area was just uh, wasteland really. 
and we also have a bit of a slope in the garden it slopes down so we've had to be a bit careful or take a bit of extra care with the work that we've had done so far and we also got a bigger fence the fence used to just again you can see it kind of starts off flat and then it starts sloping down and at the back is where it's lowest so it was super low there we had some extra fence uh, extra high fencing put in to give us a bit more privacy and then we've gone for this two-tone decking with the lights in which are really lovely um, um the decking area is quite large the guy that did it actually explained you know you do want a bigger area when you're having seating done which i've come to appreciate since the decking went in to be honest because I've got a double egg chair coming that I'm going to put here when it arrives uh, and I think the more seating the better when you start having friends and family around so to match the decking we've gone for this rattan set from I think it's just called rattan garden furniture limited not too crazy <laughs> with the name for what they make and it's just a, what have we got? One, two, three. I'm not really counting that as a seat. Four, five seats here. And the cushions are really nice. I so obviously love the colour. Then you've got the black glass top table. And then the bench. We didn't go for the stools. Um, we really wanted a bench on a dining table actually. So that's why we've gone for this. Um, but it's just really comfy, you can obviously sit here, enjoy drinks, food, whatever really. Um, and then, as you can see, if we come out of the shade, it's really bright. So we've gone for this, they didn't have, uh, there wasn't much colour choice when we got this at the end of last year, as you can imagine. It's getting to the end of the season and everyone's picked the colours that they want, but this was quite pricey to be honest i think you can get cheaper versions but the reviews were just really bad about them not being sturdy so it's one of those like i don't know what shape you call it but obviously the parasol is not in the middle it's at the side which is really lovely because we didn't have to get a special table with a hole and then it's also got lights here mm maybe need to wait till the evening to see it but the lights run up all the what do you call these like birds i don't know and then there's obviously one in the middle um and then we've put lights i put this in the reel we've put these are just solar lights from home bargains along the top to make it a little bit prettier and it also ties in with the little mini lights all around the edge and then this is just a little barbecue area, um, a little platform. Again, we kind of had to get that built up. Um, so Dan can have his little chef station here. Uh, and then we've had this, I wanted railway sleepers, but there was like a four month wait. And I just, we didn't really get to use the garden a lot last year because it took us so long to do a lot of this work. And I wanted this, um, I think I just saw what Mrs. Hinch had in her garden and then I think what she's done is put like those lollipop trees in. So I'd quite like that and then maybe some plants around it. But also when it comes to plants, I would like maybe like some square boxes on these corners. And maybe something like cherry trees. Um, in here so it's still a work in progress uh oh the grass so yeah as you saw before it's just got so um overgrown and we just got so sick of having to dig weeds out and like by the time i think we dug all the weeds out and we were getting up to like this section more weeds were growing and I just thought like, no, thank you. I'm not interested in that. Um, and we don't normally, when we're not in lockdown, we don't normally have a huge amount of time for 
like garden maintenance anyway and I just really love the idea of being ready to go at any point so we've gone for I can't remember it wasn't like the most basic option but it's quite a thick pile a bit like the carpets it's very soft we've had kids on this during like the lifting of some of the lockdowns and I just love how low maintenance it is I don't need to buy a lawnmower I don't need to mow it or you know ask Dan to mow it for me um I just come out and it's ready I think the worst thing that happens is sometimes you have to pick a leaf off of it which is just the right amount of maintenance for me for a garden if I'm honest uh and yeah, as soon as we get the trees in here, we'll finish painting the top of this. Um, as you can see, we've also got some little lights that just dig in here that are also solar lights. I think we might get a few more of those. So that just looks pretty. Perhaps get something climbing up the back here. Now, I painted this fence. I did have some help from Darren with just a colour called Delaware from B&Q. And they actually ran out of it which really did upset me because we've not actually finished around here. Oh, excuse me, I'm nursing. Yeah, I've not finished it and they ran out of the colour. So that was quite stressful because they ran out of it in every B&Q and I just think lots of people have obviously been doing bits to their garden. So that's how far we've got in the garden and it's coming on. I think we're almost there to be honest, um, but who knows, like I kind of also, I'll probably save it for a later video, there are some other things I would like in there. I kind of sometimes like the fact that it's not done because, you know, it's something to do. Um, it's nice to have something to to work on really. Uh, the next thing that I'll just show you is something that we've been doing in the living room. So it's one of the rooms where we've started to make some progress with decorating now that the house is settled and, um, and you can definitely tell that we're amateur decorators. But I always like seeing inside people's homes and sometimes I find that inspiring or you know if you've got some tips that you'd like to give me I'm all ears. Okay so this is how far we've got with the living room. We painted it over the weekend this really deep, I'd say it's kind of a midnighty blue colour. Uh, I'll insert a picture, it's Farron Ball Scotch Blue which is one of their summer colours. I don't know if that means it's limited edition or or what uh, but yeah it's it's not one of their like main range colors but it's really rich really blue and I really like it we still haven't taken some of the paint off because this was only done yesterday uh, not paint the tape the tape we put on to protect the wall and you can just see up there, um, I found when painting other rooms, if you take the paint off too soon before it's fully dried out, it can rip the whitewash or whatever you had underneath. It can rip that off and take it back to the plaster. So I've had to learn the hard way about filling in um, afterwards. But even, to be honest, I thought we'd be fine taking it off of the units because this is like a shiny surface. And actually, this is what I'm saying about being amateur, we've ripped off some of our hard <laughs> cutting in efforts. And I'm going to have to go over this with a tiny brush and try and be neat. Uh, and I guess also... <laughs> not cover it in fingerprints. I managed to take a whole chunk off there, which was pretty annoying, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I also, I don't know if anyone's got a tip, but when you've got like silicon sealant, how do you not make a mess of that? 
Um, I'm sure the answer is just going to be don't roll up, up to <laughs> the edge of the wall and use a tiny brush and be neat. Um, so if you've got any answers that aren't that, then I'd love them because I'm just really messy, just a very messy person. I don't want to be, to be honest. So, yeah, that is where we've got to. Obviously, these units weren't here when we came in. Also, really like these. I'll just show you why I like them. So, they're like push clip drawers um, and all that mess. It's just gone and out of the way and you'd never know it was there. We've obviously put some shelves in behind those drawers and we tried to plan everything out so it's how we wanted. We did get a quote from, oh, I think it was Sharps for this kind of unit. It was really expensive so we just went with someone independent who did a great job. Um, if you live in Manchester then just drop me a message if you be interested in this sort of thing for your own home I'd really recommend it and the price is very reasonable um, I think we need some lights under here like some strip lighting and again under there um, and obviously to put the ornaments back on when all the touch-ups of the paint is done but yeah I really love this colour um, it's quite mm, I'd say it's a match but kind of ties in with this blue carpet which is very thick pile really recommend investing in some decent carpet i don't think it's something that you'll regret it's certainly not something i regret uh, at all really uh, love this room and how it's coming on i'll just show you that light while we're here uh, very bright but um much better than like this single bulb that they leave you with uh, it's nice to have as much light as possible really and you know lighting options but yeah that is the living room so far so i hope you enjoyed that little look around the garden and some of the house and a few of the little bits that i um, talked about at the start of the video um I'll just actually finish by talking to you about this outfit. So I just really love it and I like it because these pink leggings have a really thick waistband. They're from Pink Soja. I got them on JD. And then this top is like really like it's very relaxed. It reminds me of something that's a bit 80s to be honest. It's very flattering. Um, and I just love chilling out in stuff like this when I'm working from home um, but if you're just at home you don't even need to be working to wear I just thought I'd share that whilst we were chatting so yeah um, please comment if you have any questions or suggestions and uh, if you enjoyed the video then please hit like and I'd love it if you would also hit subscribe because yeah, I mean, that is, I guess, how you see more videos. Um, and I will see you in my next video.